Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And a lot of you guys have said, I'm new to beginning, what can I get that would set me up for success? And so I wanna show you a great little kit. You're not gonna find it in the catalog. Um, you will find it in the little experience creativity um, pamphlet, which is where I found it. And today I'm gonna focus on this one is called the Celebrate with Cake Cards. And so let me show you everything that comes in it. It has one order number. So let me give it to you. It is 152861. It's only, um, it's great for beginners. Let me show you what's in it. You get the Celebrate with Cake stamp set, which I'm gonna show you a couple cards today and um, it has 14 stamps in it you also get um, a set of note cards and envelopes in the whisper white you get a flirty flamingo ink pad and a granny smith apple ink pad and then you get one um, size d clear block mine has engraving on it but this is the size that you'd be getting. So you get all of this, you guys, for um, all with that one number, and it is only $46.50, and that will allow you to make at least 20 cards. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make a couple cards real quick. I'm gonna show you just how simple and easy it is. And then when you do um, place your order, if you do so before the 15th, you'll be able to be in the free online live class with a $50 or more order. And I'm gonna show you what you could grab to bring that up to $50 and get your free online class. So we're gonna take out one of the Whisper White note cards. And as a new stamper, I'm just gonna use these items. I'm not going to use um, my bone folder or anything like that. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, but if you did have maybe a ruler or something like that, you could really, or you can um, use your block to get that in there. So let's take out, we'll make a quick easy one. I'm gonna get these hearts out here. and stick that on here. And then we're gonna take out our flirty flamingo. And we are just going to take these and we're gonna stamp twice. And we're gonna stamp right over other ones. And don't worry, as a new stamper, you might not um, get everything that you want. Just go ahead and go right over it and look at how we took care of that. And we're just adding right to it, going over Just putting tons of hearts on here. We're just going to leave a little bit of room down at the bottom. And you could stamp three times if you'd like. And just continue <laughs> right on over there. So there we go. And I think we're pretty good here. And do one more. 
Now, looking here, we're going to put It's Your Day. Let me see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's that's what we do here. I'm gonna take this one off. And we're just gonna change colors there. And that's got that grant granny apple green and we're just gonna put right here it's your day and look how quick and easy and cute that card is there and then you could also decorate your envelopes as well And you go right back over here, get that on there. Now, when you want to decorate your envelopes like this, you're going to start out on the top. And you're just moving them around. But don't go past these lines here. Or those lines down there. Now, once you've got the top done, then you're going to work on your bottom. You're going to open that up. And now you can go off the page. <laughs> And so you've got your envelope as well that matches perfectly with it. So then you just take that guy and you've got your card ready to go. And then we will work on another card. Um, let's see. As a beginning stamper, I'm just going to use a baby wipe to clean these off. And then don't worry if it gets colored. That's just the photopolymer that is colored like that. You'll see and with those red tones, those are the ones that kind of discolor. But they still stamp just as well. The one that was in the granny apple green did not. So I'm going to take this off, put these guys back on so I could find them when we do our next card. Now the next card, let's get out uh, this guy again. Another one of these. And then after this card, I'm going to show you one more, um, how if you're not just a beginning stamper, you could still make this into um, the next step. So once you're past the beginner, oh, I told you I wasn't going to use that. I grabbed it. But we're still on beginning stamper level here. So let's go ahead and quick and easy I'll show you using the colors that they gave us I'm gonna grab 
this one that says lots of birthday wishes and we're going to put it diagonally across that D block We're going to ink this guy up really well. We're going to put this right here. We're going to hold that down just for a minute to let the ink really transfer on over there. So there we go. I'm going to clean this off. And we're going to move to our next one here, which is going to be, well, I put that on the wrong side, these leaves. And we're going to go with our granny apple green, because that's what comes with it. I'm going to ink that up. And we're going to put that right above here. Hold that down just for a bit. Let that ink transfer. And there you go. Clean this all off. And then we're going to take some of these little tulips here. Stick those on there. Now we're going to go back to our flirty flamingo. Get that good and inked up. And this is two step stamping in its finest. We're just going to kind of place that over. Not perfect if you don't want it to be because these look super cute when they've got a little space in between. And look at that. How quick and easy is that to make a birthday card? And you are good to go, but let's go ahead and decorate the envelope anyways. So I think with this envelope, we're going to, I'm going to start back with the green again. And we're just going to put these guys all along here there we go clean that up and go back to our tulips <laughs> And look at that cute card or cute envelope to go with your card. You could also make this the card itself and have like a little saying right here. So flip that guy backwards and we've got a birthday card ready to go. Now, let me go ahead and show you another card using this same pattern here stepped up just a little bit for those of you who want to get a little more creative in your um, beginning stamping. So I did the same card, but this time instead of using the um, note cards, I just took a sheet of Whisper White, cut it in half, and then folded it in half. I cut a little green piece that was a quarter of an inch smaller around each side. And then I took another sheet of Whisper White that was a quarter inch smaller than that. I also changed the colors 
um, very similar, but I ended up with a Rococo Rose. So I used my Rococo Rose and Call Me Clover. And then I have some of my Grow Grain Ribbon in the Call Me Clover. And then the Polka Dot Tool in the Whisper White. And then I grabbed the Noble Peacock Rhinestones and grabbed out of this color here. And let me go ahead and show you. Stepped this card up just a little bit using the same stamping techniques, changed up the color. All I did was put a border, cut a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, wrapped the tool around, and did a, um, wrapped the grow grain ribbon around, and then added the little rhinestones and so it's still very much beginning stamping, same exact way, but very cute. I would be happy to receive either one of these cards. And um, again, it's only $46.50 for the whole thing, um, that whole little beginning kit that I showed you. But if you wanted to um, bump that up to the $50 mark, you could grab just some rhinestones again. Well, let me see if I have a package. I do. Add one of these packages of rhinestones to your um, Celebrate with Cake kit. Or you can add these rhinestones. You could add pearls. You could add whatever you would like. You know, I just saw something that would be really cute. Speaking of adding those, where did it go? I saw in my little, oh, here we go. How cute would these little guys be on top of this instead of putting the flowers? Just putting these little flower faceted gems. So I thought that was cute. I hope you guys like my stamping today. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more stamping, make sure you subscribe. And again, let me get you the number for this. There are other um, beginning stamping sets. If you'd like to see more of that, let me know. Or if you would like me to um, get you out one of these little experience creativities to get you started in stamping. All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. I'll put the link down below if you wanted to purchase any of the items that you saw today. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.